personal advisor. It's been a while since I had a uh, video put out. Uh, you may recognize this uh, barrel assembly from one of the earlier videos. On well, this video, I'm going to show uh, the work to take off the front sight base because I'm going to take this barrel and put it on a, a match upper and make a match rifle. I'm going to get another front sight base that will affix with uh, set screws and it will have a bayonet log on it which I was complaining about it in the uh, earlier video when I took off the, uh, the, the flash hider. So I bought this Wheeler Engineering bench block. It has a lot of different shapes for working on AR type rifles. Uh, it has one side for knocking the pins out. It's, so when you put it on uh, like so. Uh, I initially tried this um, a few weeks ago. I used these little punches and they, they were not up to the challenge and they, they got all bent up. So I went and did some more looking around on the internet. Found on Midway USA a, a punch that was supposed to be strong enough to withstand the, the, the force of the hammer blows to get these pins started out of the um, front sight base. So I also found some punches that I've had for a while that I think I got at Home Depot. I seem to be able to continue the job once the, the pins are freed. So I'm going to get this one started. So I just added just enough pressure. And then I check to see if I got movement. You can see on the other one that was already started. That one's coming loose. Now, I had this uh, larger three pound drilling hammer. I'm going to see if that might give a little bit of extra energy with this light tapping. It's working, but it doesn't feel that uh, controlled. So you can see they're both making their way out. It's, it's almost all the way out. Right, so that's through. So I see that uh, I don't think these pins are lining up with the, the holes in, in the block as well. I still have the sling swivel attachment on there. I think if I had to do it over again, maybe I might take this off first. But it's not going to be reused, so I wasn't thinking of that. Pins are out. Okay, so it doesn't just come off. So I have to work on that a little bit. Right, so I took this uh, three pound hammer and just tapped the back of the uh, front sight base. Dislodge it, and you can see the shiny areas that were underneath the block. So I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, so now it's loose from where it was and it's, it's moving by, uh, by 
hand pressure. You can probably see the, the gas port on the barrel. So I'm going to just work it all the way. We got the end cap. Now the barrel's completely free. I'm going to take out the old barrel nut because when I put the match rifle together, there's going to be a barrel nut with the national match free float tube. And that, that's the plans I have. Uh, one thing to note that the pins, they're drilled all the way through the bottom of the barrel uh, with a complete area of steel covering over where the pins were, which I wasn't, that was a question I had about it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.